Hello YouTube, what's going on? This is Dom Blue and this is going to be a brand new series. Uh, this was actually inspired by G-Unit, which he done in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, but I'm primarily focused on what he did in Modern Warfare 2. And basically his um, show on Machinima Respawns, the 40 plus show, where he would hop into a team deathmatch and try and get 40 plus kills with every gun in that game. And so my show um, is going to be the 70 plus show, but it's not going to be done on team deathmatch. I can play any 6v6 game type that I want. I will not be playing ground war because I personally think ground war is a bit cheap. And um, if if I if I was going to play ground war, I'd make it the 100 plus show because it's just that much easier to get more kills. So this show is going to show you 70 plus kills with every gun in the game. Uh, it's going to be hard to do that with Black Ops only having what less than two weeks left until Modern Warfare 3 comes out. So primarily this is going to be a Modern Warfare 3 series. But for now I can, um, I, I have got some gameplays for this. And I'm kind of going to run through what I did, talk you through the maps. And this is going to, especially when Modern Warfare 3 comes out, this is what's going to help you um, become better. And uh, I'll, I'll explain the gun's weaknesses and so on and so forth. So basically, the MPL, I've got the dual mags on it. And uh, you have to be close to them if you want to do well. I try and stay, as soon as I know where their spawns are, which they only have two main ones in this map, I try and uh, be a little bitch and stay in there, hiding, always moving. And um, you'll see that because w they don't, w they have C, we, um, I'm able to push up and stay behind this bin or uh, forklift, wherever it is. And I'm constantly using that radar, which I've uh, mentioned in previous videos. I actually picked up a Famous because I ran out of ammo. And uh, it's all about working towards that blackbird. Now, if you're not the strongest player in the world, I do recommend the Killstreak Spy Plane, Counter Spy Plane, Blackbird. But I actually have the Blackbird Triple Gunner Dogs, because I'm, I'm currently on my Dombey Blur account on the Xbox. I have 90,000 kills, and I'm actually trying to push for 100,000. And now that it's Nuketown 24-7 this weekend, I definitely think I can get to 100,000. Because if I um, keep the Triple Gunner Dogs on and just kill whore, uh, I, that might be a, a live comm idea. Uh, you'll just see me um, kill whoring as much as possible. But anyway, as soon as you get the blackbird up, it's it's easy pickings. And this forklift right here is absolutely great, but I um, I get a little bit out of shape. I shouldn't have gone to the left here, and uh, made me an easy shot for someone to pick off. I went in here, got the chopper gunner, and speed it up. Chopper gunners aren't very good on summit, and uh, I wouldn't normally use it. This one actually does pretty well, um, which is you know this was an. A, a better than average chopper gun, but normally I wouldn't use it. I'd um, stick to the dogs, the blackbird, and then you could switch it out for something else. If you want to put attack helicopter on, just put it up, and so you don't have to worry about it. But the chopper gun on, on this map is too low, and uh, it's hard to get a shot on um, on everyone in the map. Whereas on a map like jungle or nuke town or firing range, you can shoot at everyone from anywhere, and so uh, it really helps. A gunship is actually not too bad on summit because you can fly uh, to where their spawn point is. And uh, as the chopper gunner seems to always get stuck on the other side. You'll note that I always have the um, element of surprise when I'm into a gunfight. I know this guy's coming. I get the aim down sights and I win that gunfight really easily. I get behind this forklift again. This is a great spot. They are not going to touch me from here. And uh, one thing I do do when the dogs are out and uh, I don't have a sp and we don't have a spy plane is actually follow the dogs to the best I can. I get the next blackbird and I can see the spawns have switched. And so yet again I'm just going to use uh, all the all the, all the the terrain, all the map to make sure that I have the advantage on them. Now I've got the element of surprise. This guy knows I'm coming but I'm going to get my aim down sights on. And I'm in the same place as last time but I decide not to make the same mistake. I actually pick up my three kills and then they know I'm here so I push up and uh, take them from behind this time. I switch to the MPL. I'm pre-fire because I see he's coming on the radar. It, it is just taken, in, in terms of being able to do well, it's just taken that initiative. I actually got sniped there, which is a shame. And I went to the next chopper gunner. I don't think this chopper gunner does as well. As you can see, the chopper gunner is not so good because there's a lot of uh, buildings and the chopper gunner is really low, so you can't you can't really kill them. So you can see I'm trying to get them, but it's, there's no point in me being in the chopper gunner at this point. So uh, we are going to push up again. We can see that B is flashing and that we just lost it, so I'm going to try and nade it. No, I don't believe I get anything. I might. No. End up hurting myself, I think. I'm not sure. And I'm going to hop on, stun this guy. And uh, always using these stairs as cover. I, I very rarely get caught in a gunfight where I have no cover. And unless I'm trying to just blatantly rush in. So, yeah, again, I'm just standing behind these stairs. And here I, I push up. He's running the other way. Get behind the stairs. And now, um, kill these two guys. Get out the way. 
And I decided not to go back because they have the forklift at this point. If they wanted to go behind that forklift and I was going to pop out with no cover, they would rape me. So as you can see on the map, they're actually behind that forklift now. So I decided not to go out there. So I decided to push the other way around. Go up the steps. And I can shoot them in the back now. Because I've looked at the radar. I can see where their team is. Pre-fire this guy because he was on the radar. And actually get the blackbird. This guy knows I'm coming. So after missing a few shots, I go around the back. And uh, manage to get a shot on one of them at least. And um, here I'm about to run out of bullets. I realise all I've got is an L96. And as I don't want to die, I run away like a little bitch. Thankfully, the game ends. And the final score is 76 to 3. If you did enjoy this uh, episode 1 of the 70 plus show, please do give it a like and a favourite. And if you're new to this channel, then do please subscribe. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.